welcome to Right Now Workshop Podcast, where you can write a book and change the world. I'm your host, Kitty Buholtz, and this is episode 269. Enjoy today, an encouraging words episode coming to you on Sunday, October 10th, 2021. So first of all, I want to apologize. The Encouraging Words episode is a week late because I was really busy enjoying celebrating John's birthday with him. His birthday was actually the second, but because it was a weekend, we're like, oh, let's do Friday night and all day Saturday and all day Sunday. And maybe we'll just like do some more fun stuff on Monday morning because it's National Cinnamon Bun Day. So while he was working, I made the most spectacular batch of homemade cinnamon rolls ever. Been working on the same recipe for quite a while. And honestly, it's just like the temperature and how long it needs to be in and whether or not it needs to be covered with foil in the last few minutes. Oh my gosh, they were so, so good. So I apologize. This was not on my mind and I forgot, but here we are. And the thing is, is that that gave me the idea of what I wanted to encourage you about. We need to enjoy today, seize the day, enjoy right now, because so many, because dot, 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 fill in your own blank, because life is short, because we may be sick later because who knows when we're going to have our last day of living because the sun's out and it might not be out tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, in Sweden, it's like practically a rule here that if the sun's out, you need to be outside. <laughs> not that the sun is out so infrequently, but it really does rain so frequently, which is why we have a beautiful green country that uh, seriously, if it's sunny out, you need to go outside. I mean, even if it's just to take a short walk, you have to go outside. (laughs) Um, So it's been really, really nice fall weather here. And I've been enjoying every moment of that. It may be springtime where you're at, which means that you are probably enjoying, oh, it's getting warmer and the weather's getting better and soon it'll be summer vacation. I remember being just kind of freaked out as somebody who'd grown up in the Northern Hemisphere and finding out that Christmas and summer vacation were at the same time when we lived in Sydney, but it was still fun. Um, So what are the things that you can be enjoying right now? What are the things that you have been worrying about that you should be actually enjoying? Like I'm um, worried that I bought tool tickets for John's birthday for him, tool the band. Um, And what if something happens and COVID rates um, go up again, and then we can't get to where the concert is because, um, it's in a different country. (laughs) So, well, you know what, right this second, I'm thrilled to pieces that I was actually able to buy him something from his bucket list for his birthday slash Christmas. Cause we actually are going two different times. (laughs) We're going to uh, Copenhagen, which is just a short little train ride for us, like a half an hour um, in April. And then we're going to Prague in May. Now I was thinking for the last year and a half, stupid, stupid pandemic. I was supposed to be celebrating my 30th anniversary in like this big, gorgeous, luxurious sort of way. And stupid pandemic stole that from me and stupid other circumstances stole our 25th anniversary party from us. And I was like, I was just getting really mad, but I've been um, reading some great books and listening to some great podcasts on um, mindset and mindfulness and honestly, it's the the mindset and how our brains work and how we think and how the um, you know feelings and actions and thought, sorry thoughts and feelings and actions and results are all a lot more interconnected than we give it credit for. So I've been learning how to reframe my thoughts and really notice all the time: Am I having a negative thought? Wait, I need to stop that cut it out and replace it with something positive. And, you know, some people think that this stuff is a little woo woo. I used to, I used to think it was a little woo woo, the power of positive thinking. Okay. Well, how does that match up with, you know, my beliefs, uh, in all the other areas of my life, uh, and my experiences in a whole bunch of areas of my life. But the thing is, is that the more I learn, the more I practice this and try to see how it works. I'm like, wow, this really does work. Let me give you an example. Um, I ran the Copenhagen half marathon on September 19th. Woohoo! And if you are not watching on YouTube, you are missing out on seeing my super awesome medal that I got 
Yes, it's a finisher's medal. Yes, that's a little bit of a, um, you know, a 10 year old being excited sort of thing, but I don't care. I really do spend six months training and then three hours running so that I can get this and darn it, I want this. So, so yes, I will take my, my, uh, my finisher's medal, my, what, what's it called in school? Um, I forget the word when you are, help me out. Some of you are probably shouting it in your head. Anybody, uh, participation medal. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, it's a participation medal, but I participated and I worked really hard. So uh, where was I going with this? You know, there's like four things that have happened since I started <laughs> this podcast. And I'm like, okay, these are sort of like the examples of how life goes. Things interrupt us. We forget what we were doing. We uh, get frustrated because things aren't going the way that we want. How are we going to handle it? So uh, one of the things about the race was, is that I was getting to, you know, the week before or two weeks before and thinking, dang it, what is wrong with you, kitty? You did not lose the weight that you wanted to lose so that it would be easier to run. You did not do the strength training that you wanted to do and needed to do so that it would be easier to run. And now you're going to be just, who knows, will you finish? Like, can I run 13 miles? Yes, I can. Can I run it in the allotted time before they reopen the streets and tell you to get off the street? I wasn't sure that I could do that. Do you want to know what happened? I decided to focus on being positive. It was a gorgeous day, which made it a lot easier. Um, the energy all around me just seemed to be uh, full on, like 10 points out of 10 on, on the positive scale. There were bands, there was a choir, there was um, something with like a, like a drum corps, you know, like a, like a marching band drum corps. Um, there was a couple of DJs, there, all these things along the route. So there was all these things that kept making you uh, feel like, oh, this is fun, this is peppy, I have more energy. And the thing is, is that I finished 10 to 15 minutes faster than I thought I would. Um, you're allowed three hours. And I seriously thought it was going to take me three hours and 10 or three hours and 15 minutes, which they give you a little bit of extra time, but I didn't know if they would give me that much time to finish. I ended up finishing, hold on, it's on the back of the medal, in two hours, 56 minutes and 15 seconds. That is less than four minutes slower than my all time fastest time, which I know means that I'm not very fast, but the fact is I've done it like six or seven times now. And that is something that I can be proud of. So basically if I had continued to let myself fret about all the things that I hadn't done, I don't know that I would have been in a mindset where I kept pushing myself because I was, I was pushing myself. It was no accident that I finished 10 to 15 minutes faster. I was telling myself all the time, you can do this. You can go faster. I know you're tired, but you know, you're hanging in there, like just keep on going another kilometer or two at this pace before you, you know, take another walk break or whatever. Um, it was amazing. I was amazed. So this is very long, convoluted, <laughs> encouraging words episode to say that there is a big difference in how our moment, our hour, our day, our week, our month, our year, our life turns out based on whether or not we're going to look at things from a positive or a negative viewpoint and how quickly we can notice that we're um, thinking something negative or feeling or acting in some sort of negative way, and that we can turn that quickly to something more positive. Now, okay, let's just say it had been pouring rain on that day. That would not have been a gorgeous day to run in. Uh, I have run a race in that kind of weather in Sydney. Um, it's, you just have to tell yourself, and there it is again, mindset. You just have to tell yourself, I have been training for months for this race and I'm going to enjoy myself, darn it. I just am. And I will probably be more focused on not slipping and falling on the wet pavement than on trying to do any kind of speed. But here we are, you know, I think in, in the uh, city to surf race, there's like 60 to 80,000 people or something. So, so many people, there's just so much energy and excitement. So 
maybe you're doing something that does not have a ton of people and a ton of energy and excitement, then you just have to choose that you will be the keeper of whether or not you have a positive or negative attitude about things. And the more I learn about it, the more I realize that as much as people think of me as a positive person, I have had a terribly negative attitude about a gazillion things in my life. There's so many things that I realize that I have been holding a grudge against. You know, I, I'm holding a grudge. I don't want to tell you what, um, because I'm working on um not holding a grudge anymore, but things about, um, you know, big organizations, how I was mistreated or how I think something is unfair in the government or how, um, you know, my 25th anniversary and then my 30th anniversary parties were stolen from me. And, you know, there's so many things that we can be angry about and upset about, but what if we just focused on what we can be happy about and positive about, or looking at things like, okay, at the end of this, um, big wet rainy ra race this is the the not great part but the at the end we're going out to dinner and that will be awesome you know i mean there's always something um whether the it's the weather that you don't like or things happening in your life there's always something and now i feel like this is just too long an episode and i should start over but i'm not going to because i want you to also just see me being real as far as um i'm i'm also a little frustrated with the way the episode's gone my computer is beeped at me and tried to shut down my zoom room and which made me interrupt myself and go what in the heck was i just saying so there is one edit in here um but honestly there are so many things that we can be happy about birthdays people that we get to see um yeah so much, so much. So what is it for you? Like, seriously, I hope that you're thinking about a few things right now. See if you can name off right off the top of your head, three things that you're like, this is something I'm feeling very positive thing about. Now, if that was not too hard, think of five more things. Okay. Make it an even 10 things, 10 things that you are grateful for feeling good about um, see that, you know, I'm, I'm going to change my attitude about this a little bit. I'm just going to tweak it. You know, it was a little bit negative. I'm going to tweak it. So it's fully positive. Even if it's things like I can choose to be positive in the midst of this bad situation. Like, even if there's not a thing you can do about your situation, like you can still choose some kind of positive way that you can be at least on the inside, even if, you know, the outside has nothing you can change about it. And there's just so many things I want to share with you on this, things that I've been learning. I hope that you will take some time yourself to look up things on mindset, um, do some reading, read some articles, listen to some audio books, read some books. There's so many good ones. Um, learn about things that have happened in other people's lives. It's pretty amazing. And that's why I'm so into it. And I apologize if this episode is so long. I feel like I should just start over, but nope, today I'm just going to be myself. <laughs> so here I am being myself. This is, this is the kitty that John has to live with. Poor guy. He's like, oh, when will she stop talking? But normally it's more of a conversation. I can't converse with you very well. I've tried to give you a couple opportunities where I paused and you could, you know, kind of talk to me a little bit, but Anyway, that's it. This is the kitty episode. This is a very kitty encouraging words episode. I'm going to let you go, but seriously, like if you're watching on YouTube, leave some comments and tell me what are some of the things that you are improving your attitude on, or you're really happy with yourself because you have a good attitude on this or that situation, or despite this or that situation, or, um, something that you want to change your attitude about. Um, I will say one more thing because I think it's really important. I, uh, so at the beginning of each calendar year, so in January, our church has these dream cards and it has three spaces on it. Um, what am I praying for, for myself? What am I praying for, for my family? And what am I praying for, for the church? And so each year we write different things on it. This year, I wrote that I want to be closer to my family and I want to completely forgive any real or imagined you know, things, um, that I'm holding against them. And I want to really have the best relationship I've ever had with my family and all of these things that have been 
coming up in the books that I've been reading or things I've been learning in this or that or the other thing. And I'm realizing there's all these little tiny things where I'm like, I didn't realize I was holding a grudge about this, or I didn't realize that I was um, feeling bad about this or feeling like this was so-and-so's fault because of that. And it's really been wonderful to be able to go, oh, okay, well, that's something that I can forgive them for, whether it's their fault or not. I can just say, I forgive them of, of any wrongdoing in this particular thing. And I forgive myself for holding a grudge about it for so long. And it's so many things. And like every time it's a new thing, I feel lighter. And when it's something that I actually, you know, feel like I need to literally apologize to the person, like I've had really good experiences with that. And I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, forgiveness has also been something that I have learned to do like even more and even deeper and on, um, much more specific little bits and pieces of things over my whole life, things that I think I just remember it, but it turns out that me constantly remembering it is actually just showing me that I've still been holding a grudge about something. And I think it has helped me to, um, to live a more enjoyable life every time that I forgive another thing. And I have to keep forgiving myself for holding the grudge and forgiving myself for being upset with whatever. Um, because then I, I look back and I go, Kitty, you're such an idiot. And I'm like, okay, I forgive you for being an idiot. <laughs> you know, So there it is. There's everything I've been learning in the last couple of weeks <laughs> and months. I hope it is helpful and encouraging. I apologize for talking to you so long. I do kind of miss you, even though uh, some of you have never met, but uh, I love the encouraging words episodes. And um, yeah, so I miss talking to you about things that I think will help both of us to live better lives. So remember today's theme is enjoy today, enjoy the time, find things that you can be grateful about and focus on them and catch yourself when you're being negative and find some way to turn it to something positive and see after a week or a month, what happens? Leave comments in the YouTube video so that I know this was um, something helpful to you. I hope it is. Have an awesome week. We will see you when season four starts at the end of October. I believe it is October 28th. So remember, I love you. I know that you are awesome and you have so many talents and abilities and things that you can do as a writer and as a human being. And I can't wait to see you just being more, just like I'm learning to be more. I can't wait to see how you're being more too. So have a great week. Happy writing. Bye.